Hi friends! On Tuesday, I mentioned how much I value my eyesight as I was talking about the phrase, apple of my eye. I mentioned that I've been wearing corrective lenses since I was three years old. Well, I also had to wear an eye patch. My left eye was a lazy eye, and so I had surgery when I was very young. And I would wear a patch on the right eye in order to strengthen the muscles on the left eye. So many weeks on, so many weeks off. And I hated it. Not only did it make it hard to see because my left eye has weaker vision as well, but also it made me really self-conscious about the way I looked. I especially hated it when I had to wear it to school until fourth grade. I had a teacher in fourth grade who made me feel so comfortable and so supported that I decided that even if I had to wear an eye patch, it would be okay. Guess what happened? I went to the eye doctor and he said, you don't have to wear an eye patch anymore. <laughs> I was at an age where it wouldn't do any more good. And so on one hand, I was so happy never to have to wear the eye patch again. But then on the other hand, I was so frustrated because I was finally okay with wearing it and I didn't have to. My fourth grade teacher, who happened to be my fifth grade teacher as well, made a big impact on my life. And it wasn't because of the content of the curriculum. It was because of the content of her character. I don't remember what she said to me that made me feel so comfortable, but I do remember how she treated me and how that made me feel. It made me feel safe and capable. It made me feel supported and cared for. By the way, she kept track of me throughout my education and she came to one of my high school musical performances and to my high school graduation and we still exchange Christmas cards. She's also the one who told me that if I didn't stop worrying so much, I'd have an ulcer by the time I hit middle school. <laughs> the point I want to make is that how we treat people is important. It matters. Whether you're an aunt, an uncle, a teacher, a Sunday school teacher, a youth group leader, a coach, a supervisor, it doesn't matter what role you're in. The way you treat people has a far greater impact on them than what you say or what you teach. You may have heard during our prayer time on Sunday that a friend of mine passed away, and he was one of our youth group leaders growing up, he and his wife. Actually, his wife was our youth group leader, and I would call him the sergeant at arms. He was the gentle giant type. He didn't say much, and he didn't have to. We always knew that we were loved and accepted and cared for and supported just by the fact that he was always there. And anytime, anywhere he ran into any of us, he would always stop and smile and ask how we were and then wait for the answer. Now, those are just two examples of many people who have loved and supported and encouraged and cared for me over the years and of the many people who continue to do so. Who are those people for you? If they're still around, take a moment to thank them. Send them a note or an email or give them a call. If they're no longer with us on this earth, take a moment to thank God for them. Now, of course, you can thank God for the people who are still around too, but I think you know what I mean. And then think about the people whom you hope will be able to look back over their life and count you as one who has made an impact. And then make it happen with kindness, respect, support, and love. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.